Wait, a little bit of noises. As you can see, I uh, can kid. Can kid read. <coughs> now, as you can see, the the kid, they can a caduceus. The kid, read. The kin, as in the oh, our own kin or our Ian kin, which is the a. Now we're not kids, right? <coughs> See here, the kin kid there. Uh, name is quite big in that. It's a big horse here, uh, sports manufacturer, horse riding, and all that. <coughs> but a few bit of uh, kin kid around uh, everywhere. The National Radio is John Kin kid. They can cure, right? The kin idea is to do with the families. So, our real kin type of thing, right? You know, like the uh, Mull of Kintyre by uh, Paul McCartney, so it was all about the Masonic family. Mull of Kintyre. How they are tea drinkers together, right? Who are real kin? Now part of the same common ancestry, like Masonic, right? Like Uarian, take you with you know, one of our Ian, one of our Ruin. Right? So like us take the thing, you know, another fellow of trans take the thing, right? Fellow Masonic. <coughs> See the the Ian could use quite a bit. Not like the uh, MBE. Now one of our Ian. Warian Fuck, see. Ainsley, you know, the name can be surname or, or phoneme or whatever, for quite a few boat. One of our Ian type of thing, mate. Ian's lie. Yeah, right, see all the letter Ian or Iron in the Hebrew means the I. Right? Of course, when you have the I, it's basically become the eye of the needle. Right? So we are needle users, our Ian Kin type of thing, right? needle users. Of course, Hebrew is a sort of curd language. Right? As you see, a lot of IBS stuff, you know, to do with that type of thing. Of course, they're going to use the the could. In Dubai, I to Ain Dubai, see, Ain Dubai. So, you know, using the could idea. Of course, like this Ain Ran, you know, the I. Yeah. The fountain head. Well, of course, twelve translate needle user. See. I'm trand. T run trand. See. Twelve trans of course. See the, the uh, lyrics of my Ian Fook, Scottish Fook song. Far free of him, you know, the James. To my Ian Fook over yonder. 
the Rod Stewart had in the uh, one of his songs. The you know the rod again the rod like the rod of Asclepius and the Caduceus you know the the, the injections thingy. Stewart. That was one of his songs. Uh, Every beat of my heart or something where it had that lyrics about my Ian Fook. Aaron's rod out there, the Bible, he was his brother Aaron, the brother, and the walking sticks, like the nardle stick, the nardle stick or the candle stick, and the pig sticker, see, the uh, injector thing, the uh, syringe. The rod was a Matia was a natural symbol of authority, as the tool used by the shepherd to correct and guide his flock. See, used as a uh, symbol of authority to the naturals, basically simple as that. You know, all the symbolism associated with the uh, the syringe, Moses' rod, and the staff of Moses. The same thing, rod of all and staff of Moses. You be singing the syringe. The blossoming of Orange Road, of course, this would be about the how it was developed as a medical along the medical uh, grounds and that you know, developed it and they used it as a tool for the spins and tea and the hug. Course, all the stuff a metaphor for the syringes. Grew flowers apparently in the story say grew flowers. So you know that's uh, again that's talking about the syringe. You stick the syringe in full and full of hormones and they grew flowers, buds, like breast buds and you know what I'm saying? Rest buds. We built the golden calf. All in Sisson. See what all of it, and there you go, the budded. All in rod, the budded. Budded, the Buddha, <laughs> the Buddha, Budded. The D. Uh, H. Lawrence book, Orange Rod, Orange Sisson. If you know, doubt it was about Orange Sisson who then used the rod and then become a, a trans. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Orange Rod. The release when you pull the you push the plunger down it releases the uh, hormone liquid orange rod there you go <coughs> so you have the small buds developing Small buds. Dear, uh, this song it is called "Bro, Can You Spare a Dime?" But it's also known as "Buddy, Buddy, Can You Spare a Dime?" The BSC the CM song. Brother type of thing, is it? So it must work with the little testicles as well, the bud idea. Secondary sex hormones, body holly. Of course, body holly. Some stuff written in here, you know, about this. 
And Bones, of course, is just dropping in crud out here. Tricking people with a bit of crud, right? They must work in the same way as the breast buds, like. You know, that type of thing. The bud, the budding. And yeah, that's interesting, like, because you see this. That looks like one of the, uh, one of those oyster shells. And yeah, like the birth of Venus by Botticelli type of thing, right? So the Venus idea. Venus was born out of castration of Uranus. And then standing on the oyster shell, right? So basically that oyster shell is a dissected testicle. See what I'm saying? The dissected testicle. The birth of Venus. The pair of glands are called Cooper's glands. Cooper is a barrel mega. Yeah, the barrel mega, the syringe barrel. So all could, always could. Venus in the centre, newly born goddess, stands nude in the giant scallop shell, so it must be you now like a dissected testicle, a pair of scallops. Yes, scallops. Interestingly, that's pool axe. Dover wear is a pool axe. No, no, the pool. Pool. And dear. Basically, it's representing the uh, dissected testicle. Half oh, yeah. Symbolism. Basically, the dissected testicle. Right? Yeah, it's funny how it's body jelly. You know, it's like the castration of Uranus. And it's body. And it's body. And the birth of the Venus and the testicles idea. So of course I could. Could it us? Like the angel, see? The harp. The angels have got harps. <laughs> Spiritual being. Messenger of God. Like the Caduceus, Hermes, Mercury, messenger. Wings and a long robe. Jellica bell had the bells removed. Saint Lucian. Angeline Ball. The balls removed. Deadly cuts. <laughs> Commitments, <laughs> again, the commitments, take the plunge, commit. You guys this teasering guy, certainly committed, committed itself like to the trans program. 